to the channel. My name is Ronaldo Moore with PPG. And if you are new <laughs> to the channel, come on, get on board, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Today's topic, the topic that you're about to watch, or the topic in the video that you're about to watch, <laughs> under slab plumbing. Kind of show you brief, I briefly show you what I look for when I'm doing a under slab plumbing inspection. It's a very small lot, so there's not a lot of under slab plumbing to look at, but I kind of give you kind of a little insight on, on what I look for. Um, I will be coming or any code sections that I post in the video will be out of the 2018 I. RC, I have to say this. International Residential Code, or the 2018 IPC, International Plumbing Code. <laughs> I have to say this. Um, so sit back, hope you get something out of it, and I'll see you again on the next one. All right, let's get this thing started here. I got my set of plans I pulled out of the permit box and I'm looking at the first floor what, what kind of plumbing they have on the first floor they have a, a half bath that's kitchen laundry room so let's take a look at what we have here well, that's the lot there and the way the plans are laid out that is going to be the half bath right there that's going to be the kitchen and that stack over in the corner will be the laundry so let's take a quick quick look here let's kind of go over this um, I make sure that the that the piping any supply hot water piping is insulated Hot water piping, that's that red PEX there. Make sure that is insulated. Any piping under, under floor or buried hot water must be insulated. I will take my level and check the slope of the, the drainage piping. I will also check and make sure that the manufacturer is listed on the, the actual piping, it's Charlotte Pipe. And it's a three inch drainage line. And like I said, I'll, I'll check the slope with the level. Can't do that now because I got, got this camera in my hand, but I'll also go over and check my pressure test. That's my 10 foot of head right there, or 10 foot stack. And I'll take and shake it. And typically, if I don't get wet, then I fail it. But there is water. As you can see it, it is coming out so I have my have my pressure test also taking take the slope on that run as well get my level check that slope as well and let's go take a look at the sewer connection this is a pretty small little lot so it's really not a lot to look at on the main level it's only three or four plumbing fixtures but that's the sewer connection right there that goes out to the street and my test plug is probably in here let's see let me zoom out here it's gonna be one of my text text yeah, test plug is gonna be here yep there it is that's the test plug pop that in there and he fills the whole drainage system up with water and I check every joint every elbow to make sure that there's no leaks it hadn't rained here down here in georgia or down here in atlanta in a couple of weeks so it's pretty easy to spot a wet spot at the at the joints or, or at the elbows so and everything looks good so that's, that's pretty much pretty much it on the plumbing under slab inspection <laughs> 